Hi, uh, my name is Jack Thompson, and uh, this is uh, going to be a virtual tour of West River Holsteins. This year we can't have you here in person, so the video will give you a day in the life of uh, what we do here on the farm. Uh, the farm, uh, we bought the farm in 1998, my wife and I, Rhonda, and we operate it with our four children and a small group of dedicated employees. We farm roughly 550 acres, and we have between 260 and 270 head of Holsteins. So I'm uh, going to get to work today, so enjoy the tour and uh, hope to see you very soon. Hi, I'm Seamus Thompson. We start every day by milking the cows at 3 a.m. Come on and follow me and you'll see how it's done. We milk our cows three times a day at 3 a.m., 11 a.m., and 7 p.m. 24 cows are milked at a time in a double 12 parallel parlor. We milk 100 cows in approximately an hour. As the cow enters the parlor, her neck chain is red. This provides information on that specific cow on a small computer screen above where she stands. In the parlor, the cow's teats are cleaned. This also helps with milk letdown. Then the milker is put on the cow, and the cow is milked within a few minutes. When the milk flow rate drops, the milker automatically comes off. Our cows milk an average of almost 39 liters a day. Before the cows leave the parlor, the cow's teats are dipped to ensure that bacteria does not enter the teat end. This helps prevent disease. And then the cows return to the main barn to eat and to rest again. An interesting fact, did you know that cows chew their cud for six to eight hours each day? Chewing their cud is an important part of digestion, and it is what allows cows or any ruminants to turn grass into a useful food source for us. Following each milking, all the equipment is cleaned and sanitized. The milk is immediately cooled to below four degrees Celsius. This helps maintain freshness. Milk is stored on our farm in this 15,000 liter cooling tank, and it is picked up every second day by the milk truck and goes to our local dairy, AgriPure. AgriPure is a farmer-owned cooperative. And if you want to ensure that you're drinking Canadian milk, be sure to look for the blue cow symbol for high quality dairy products from your local farmers. When the cows are milked, feeding is next. And this is how we feed a couple hundred cows each day. The cow's diet is important to her health and to her milk production. Our farm has a dairy nutritionist to ensure that our cows are getting the correct quantity of energy, protein, minerals, and nutrients every day. The nutritionist takes samples of the silage that we grow, determines its nutritional value, and then balances the cow's ration based on that. Throughout the day, feed is pushed in every two hours with an automatic feed pusher. It's sort of a robot that keeps fresh feed in front of the cows all day and all night, whenever they want to eat. In the summer, there are less rations to make each day because the heifers are on pasture from May until late September or early October. Cow comfort is always a priority. Fresh air, fresh water, plenty of feed, a large maternity area, grooved floors to prevent slipping, automatic floor cleaners, sand for bedding, and automatic back scratchers. They're all important to cow comfort at our farm. Although we have many busy days on the farm, this is especially true during planting and harvest season. We are very fortunate to have an exceptional team of employees who help us get the work done every day and who play a very important role 
in helping us produce high quality milk. Here are Seamus, Hugh, Bryce, Shayla, and Seamus at work throughout the year on the farm. We certainly couldn't do it without them. Spring days include preparing the soil to grow a crop. This means tillage, spreading manure, planting, and sometimes, unfortunately, picking rocks. Ensuring the land is managed in the best possible way includes using a nutrient management plan, practicing crop rotation, leaving grassed waterways, and ensuring that we're always returning nutrients to the soil. Starting in late May, after planting, we will grow and make between three to four crops of grass silage. This process will include mowing the crop at a particular stage of maturity. And then before it dries too much, we will rake it into windrows and that will make it easier for the harvester to pick it up. The harvester picks up the grass and chops it into small pieces. This is so it can be ensiled and fermented properly. The chopped grass is then trucked to concrete silos. It is packed tightly into the silos so that there's no air between the layers of grass. Then it's covered in plastic so it stays airtight. Following these procedures allows us to make high quality feed for our herd. Most of our forages become silage, but some are made into round bales. A similar process is used for the 85 acres of corn silage that we grow on the farm and harvest each September. With corn silage, the entire stalk and the cob is chopped and put into the silo. And of course, when you have equipment, you also have repairs and maintenance on a regular basis. As you can see, a day on the farm is full, busy and diverse. Farming and producing milk is our business, but agriculture is definitely our passion. It is a passion that we share with our dedicated employees, our family and our community. Regardless of the season, we are fortunate to live, to work and to call West River Holsteins our home. We are proud to be a local food provider and to be able to grow and produce all of this. We are always thankful for those who want to learn more about where their food comes from, about how it is produced, and for opportunities such as this to share the story of our family farm, West River Holsteins. This open farm day draws to a close Let's take a final tour around the cornfield. It's almost harvest time. Thanks for joining us for Open Farm Day 2021. We can't wait to have you on the farm again next year.